video if you're watching this you probably want to know how to run cardano cli on your mac yeah on your mac i'm running a mac mini using a uh, m1 chip and i couldn't find an easy tutorial that teaches you how to yeah basically use the command line interface for cardano i i i did a lot of research and you know unfortunately when you try to do it for just a mac os um uh, well not here these are the binaries but if you're trying to you know download it for mac os it, it doesn't really support apple one the m1 hardware guide at least this is what i read and it was pretty discouraging so i missed intel based apple um but because of that i was doing some googling and just going on reddit and found a way to access cardano cli so let's go straight into it. I am going to assume that you are running a Daedalus wallet. Okay, this is not for anyone using Gilroy, only for those using Daedalus wallet and again for Mac users. And the reason why is because the Daedalus wallet is a full node already. And I found something really interesting. Let me pull up the screen here. I found this query, right, this question on how to install a Cardano node on M1. And yes, this this was this gave me hope. I was like, okay, there is a way. So um, like the comment says, if you have Daedalus, all the Cardano components are already there, so you just need to find it. So I was like, okay, let's uh let's see. So what I did was I went to I went to the applications folder right here and if you right click and go to new terminal or folder you have your um you're in uh, actually i don't know where we are here but if you do ls you can see that you're in a folder right you're in this directory here and we have contents and if you just ls one, oh if you move into contents and ls one more time you can see frameworks and actually and well mac os which is what we want to go into um, I think, yeah, if you go into Mac OS and LS one more time, there you have it. Cardano CLI right there all this time. I had no idea because, well, yeah, I had no idea. So anyway, this was like a, like a mind blowing moment for me. And okay. And then the next step is how do we run this? Right. Okay. Um, well, I, I I'm going to share this link for those who are, who might find this useful, but this is exactly what I did. I exported the path. Um, so I added a path, right? So that um, every time I can run Cardano um, CLI, but just to show you that it works, um, I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm just gonna, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I am going to write Cardano CLI, check this out. Boom, you know it's working when you see all the all of these you know instructions on how to use it. So there it is, but I had to export the path. Now there's two ways to export the path, if you're wondering. First way is to just uh, temporarily add it. So for example, where's my terminal? Yeah, so for example, um, if I clear again, if I do env or print env, you're going to see that in my path, I already have this. Well, actually, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm, I have this here, right? I added that to my path. Now, um, yeah, I hope I don't, I, I guess, do I have important? Okay, whatever. Anyway, so this is what we're going to do. And we're going to export this, right? So literally, we can copy and paste. And then just boom, I already have it, so it doesn't matter. But if I reopen this, it's going to work even without exporting it. Because um, if you don't already have it in your, um, yeah, already set, it's going to sort of reset every time. So how did I set this permanently? Because I didn't want to export every single time. And how I did that was if you're in your home directory, uh, you could um, actually, yeah, if you do ls at la, L being long and A being show me all the files, you're going to see 
all these dot files, right? And the one that I care about right now is I'm going to, I care about the dot Z profile one. Uh, so this is where I'm going to add the, uh, add to my path. Okay. There's multiple ways to do this, but I prefer this way. Um, I'm going to use nano. You can use any text editor you will, editor you want the nano Z profile. And then you enter this, you can already see here that I already have, um, the Daedalus path added, um, after this colon, that's a colon, right? It's not a semicolon. Wow. Yeah. That's a colon. Always got to check. Okay. You know what? I'm not so sure anymore. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. That's a colon. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, you add that and then you do, um, yeah. Control X. Uh, I think because I didn't make any changes, I didn't have to confirm it, but after control X, it's going to ask you want to save press Y for yes. And then X out. And then next time you open up the terminal, you're going to have Cardano CLI. Well, I already showed you everything, right? Um, let's see if I'm missing anything. Ba -ba -bum, CLI. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. That's it. So, yep. You now know how to use Cardano CLI if you're using a Daedalus wallet using a Mac OS. Um, yeah, Mac OS running on an M1 chip. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, have fun.